Have you been wondering about some tarot books that I would recommend? That's coming up right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mel from Mel's Divination. Now, if you're new here, I'm the owner, operator, and creator of this channel. I'm Mel. If you're not, thank you for staying with me and following me. Today's gonna be short. I've been promising some book reviews and I'm just gonna do two books. I am not affiliated, not sponsored by these. These are just some books that I've been using for years and I'm sorry my fridge has decided to make noise during this um these are some books that I've been using for many years now and I wanted to share them with you guys so today we're going to start with a few tarot books just two of them and I'm gonna breeze through them real quick as you can see I have a bookmark in them in one of them um because I I reread them a lot this one's been very very used. Actually, they both have been. And I use them as really good, I use them as references constantly to remind myself of things. If you watch my How I Read Tarot video, which I will link above, I do explain that I read tarot intuitively, but I also have lots of books that I have collected over the years and I find them as good resources. Everybody defines tarot differently. Everybody has general references and general definitions for each tarot card, but there's certain things that I use that I find resonate with me the best. And that's, I'm gonna share some of those with you guys today. Okay guys, welcome back. So I just filmed an entire section of myself talking and my head was cut off. So <laughs> let's try this again. We're gonna do it this way instead. I want you guys to be able to see a little bit of the books. So we're gonna try it like this because I am such a fabulous videographer. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna show you three books instead of two. I changed that as well while I was filming. So this first one is called The Love Tarot for Beginners. And it is a romantic interpretation for every card in the tarot deck. And it is by John Daniels, I think is how you pronounce that name. I'm not sure and I do apologize. The second one and third ones go together. This one is called The Ultimate Tarot Spreads and this one is called The Ultimate Guide to the Tarot. They're both by the same author and it is by Liz Dean. Um, so that we'll go over those in a minute. Everything is tarot based as I mentioned previously and I hope that this will be helpful to you. So the thing that I really loved about this one is that it is purely romantic based and it really just walks you through the whole, I'm skipping to the cards because it's not really too specific. So it does, it does mention that they don't go over reversed cards at the very beginning. Um, so that is one big thing. And then the thing that I really like is it goes, first it goes right into the major arcana. And I'm not doing this so that you guys can read the whole thing. You're going to have to get the book yourself. What I'm doing is I want to try to show you some basics of the book, some basic generalizations that the books have. The thing I really like about this is I use these for resources of tarot. As you already know, I do tarot intuitively mostly, but the thing I like about these books, this book in particular, is it helps you for the romance part, romance part of reading tarot. It, it really breaks it down and it gives you specifics. So, okay, so here's the death card. Um, and I went over this before and now I'm doing it again because obviously 
this didn't, my first video didn't work. So as you can see, here's the death card and it talks about traditional meanings, but then it talks about the, the love reading, right? And I hope it, it's focused. It talks about pairing the card. So that's one thing I really like. It talks about when it's paired with what kinds of cards and it goes over. So when it's paired with these cards, this is what it means. And then it also talks about the possible outcome. So when it shows up in the end, this is what it means. And it's really funny. Like, okay, if you get the death card, if you get the death card as your result in a tarot reading for the a romance reading, it means here you go off on a new adventure, but not with Chad, just not with Chad. That guy's a dick. So it's a really funny, like there's a lot of humor in it. And I really do like that. It's a funny book. Um, so there's a lot of tips in there about that, how to deliver information gently to your clients. If you are a reader, uh, it also talks about like in the court cards, it talks about personality and a little bit about that. I obviously there's a lot of handwritten stuff in here. This book was gifted to me by somebody who had already this isn't my stuff. This is notes from somebody else. But this book was gifted to me. Um, for instance, Knight of Cups of all the knights, this one is the most dangerous because he is the most charming. He's the seducer. So basically, it just breaks it all down. Um, it tells you exactly what to expect and how to read it if it's in a romantic reading. Ten of Swords, the ideal place is for the sorrowful card. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Is it's in the past position. So that's really it. It's really just all the same thing for every card. And then in the back of it, it goes over a few different kinds of spreads. And I'm sorry that this is not ideal. Um, we all know I'm not the best videographer. But I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of what this book looks like. If you're interested in it, I can comment down below and I can post a few pictures from this book in my Instagram. If you want to see a few more, that way it's not so gibberishy. But this is definitely something I would recommend if you want more information about love, relationship, readings, and how to do this. I don't know if this author has more books. I've never looked, but I do love the writing style because it's fun and it makes me laugh. So that's the first one. The next one is let's see if i can get this in the camera shot yeah that's good enough ultimate guide to tarot all right so oh yeah you guys cannot see this so what i like about this is it's in full color as you can see it has all of the cards this is a big big book it goes over how to cleanse your cards it goes over some of the spreads but this this book is pretty much all you need. If you're looking to get started in tarot, this is the book you should get. Again, this was given to me, which was very kind of Raven to send this to me. Um, but there's a huge page of contents as you don't need to read it. But this is the table of contents. It's very, very big and extensive. And really all it goes into... A little bit of how to choose your deck, how to cleanse your deck, how to interpret your deck, and then some layouts. And then it gets right into the cards. And that's the part I really wanted to show you guys was how the cards, how it describes the cards. So here's the first card. This is a major arcana. This is the fool. And I don't know if it's all on camera. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it goes under, goes into understanding the fool. And then this part, which I th think you can see, again, really great videography, Mel. Sorry, guys. Oh, maybe if I do it like this. Yeah. Okay. Here it gets into the alternate, alternate names. This is only for the major arcana that it breaks these down. 
alternate names, the number, the numerology link, the astrological sign, the element, the Hebrew letter, the symbol, the meaning, the tree of life, the chakra, and the key meaning. So it does this for every major arcana. And then on the flip side, it gets into the astrology, the Kabbalah, the upright meaning, what it means when it's upright. And then it talks about if it's in, for the home, for the relationship. Look how little that relationship is. That's romance. Okay. Career and money. And then if it's reversed. And I have a whole book about reversals. I will pull that out in another video. We will talk about that. And then... So every major arcana has four pages. So this is the next page. It talks about his wisdom message, the fool's, all the symbolism. This is all symbolism for the fool. Okay. And then it talks about the history. All right. This green box is the history. And then the other side, it does like some journaling and reflection, trying readings with it. And they give you a spread to do with it. So that is what every single major arcana page looks like. Copy and paste, it looks the same way. I think the spread might be a little bit different for each. Yeah, see like the magicians, this is the magician. This one's the magician. And so it'll be, it's a little bit different. Obviously the meanings are different. Obviously, the history is different, and so the spreads are different for every single major arcana. Next one is the high priestess. Her spread is different. Her history is different, okay? So that's what it's like for every single one of them. They're just, uh, the setup is the same. Like, look at, look at the spread for the hermit. That's huge. So it's great for some shadow work. It's great for some reflection. And then when we jump to the minor arcana, it starts with cups. So we'll look at one of the cups and then we'll look at the court cards. So then it goes into the cups. So we have ace of cups. And then... It talks about understanding the Ace of Cups right here. And then each minor arcana is set up the same way. It talks about the element, the astrological association, the number, the tree of life, and then the key meanings. And then on the flip side, it gets into more of the background of it. Sorry. I'm looking at the book and not at the camera. Sorry, guys. And then the upright meaning... And then if you have two, three, or four aces, and then the reversal meaning. And that's it. It's only two pages for each minor arcana. Okay? And it's the same thing for every one. And then if we flip to a court card, so now we have the Knight of Cups. Here's the Knight. Same, sim same situation. Understanding him, element, astrological association, key meaning is a proposal. But it's funny because in the romance tarot, that's not what it was talking about. It was talking about him being very charming. And then it gets into something similar over here. Upright meaning. He's a true romantic. However, if it's a new love interest, tread carefully. And that's as a person. So this is the difference between court cards and minor arcana. As an influence and as a person. And then as the you card or as an influence. And then reverse meaning. And that's it. So they're all like that. And it's the same setup for everyone. This book is big and it's all this whole thing. Let's see if I can show you. All of that is all the cards. And then in, in, it ends at the back with the King of Wands. And it has a little bit of a glossary, but not much. And then the next book, which pairs right with it, 
and I rarely use this book, but I figured I should share it because it is a good one. It's by the same author, Liz Dean. It's the Ultimate Guide to Tarot Spreads. It was also given to me. And this entire table of contents is spreads. This just talks about setting up your space and cleansing your decks. This one talks about essential reading techniques. And then everything else that you see here are different kinds of tarot spreads. Okay? So the first two chapters are about cleansing. And then after that, every single page is about spreads. And that's how they look. The whole thing is just spreads and how to read them. That's a spread. How do you read it? That's a spread. How do you read it? That's a spread. How do you read it? So there's two spreads. Sometimes there's two spreads on every page. One spread on each page. This one's a chakra spread. So it really depends. And they also, at the beginning of the chapter, depending on the chapter subject, it'll tell you which cards to look for for that chapter and that's it the whole thing it's all different kinds of spreads so I will use this again I read very intuitively so often I don't need spreads but or I make my own but sometimes if I'm looking for something specific I will use this book so if you're looking for a book that has a lot of different spreads in it this is good this is a good good one for you Again, it's called Ultimate Guide to the Tarot Spreads. So we have Ultimate Guide to the Tarot Spreads, Ultimate Guide to Tarot, and Love Tarot by John Daniels. I'm going to flip this back around and give you guys a little quick summary. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so let's finish this up. We So we did the Love Tarot, we did the Ultimate Guide to Tarot, and then we did the Ultimate Guide to Tarot Spreads. And these two were by Liz Dean. And this one is by somebody named, I think, John Daniels. Again, please comment down below if you want me to take pictures of anything specific and I can post them on my Instagram for you. If you want to look at like a still shot of something closer up, comment down below like what specifically you want to see, what book you want to see, what spread you want to see, or what picture you want to see a little bit more of. I can totally do that for you on my Instagram. So please comment down below if you'd want to see that. Um, I will link everything down below. And just remember, this is definitely just a suggestion. It's things that, they're resources that I use quite a bit. Um, and it's, it's something that I wanted to share with all of you if you are interested in a tarot journey. There, I'm looking at which books that I have. There's some that I love, there's some that I hate. And there's some that I'm only about halfway through that I don't know if I love or hate them. So I am trying to decide which ones I'd like to recommend in the future to you. I may even just share the ones that I hate too, just because why not, right? So please comment, please like, please subscribe, please share. Let me know if you liked this. I am running out of daylight. Thankfully, I have a skylight right above that's at least giving me some lighting. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.